the lighting is not the best. I am by a natural window, but we're just going to go with it. I can't see myself. I'm hoping y'all can see me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, all right. I am going to put my makeup on. Let me hold on a second. I gotta turn the air off for just a minute because it's blowing straight up into my contacts. It's making my eyes dry. All right. I'm at the Saint Conference in San Antonio and I am very excited to be here. Um, I've been looking forward to this. Okay, in all transparency, there are days that I haven't been looking forward to. <laughs> but as I told y'all the other day in my stories, it's, it's my menopause brain. You know, like right now, menopause just has me full on in its grip. And some days I'm just like, oh, I, you know, I love this time of my life. I feel great. I feel happy. I feel, you know, comfortable in my own skin. I know what I'm doing. I've got my life together over here. And then there are some days that I'm like, yeah, I don't like anything. I don't like anybody. Uh, I don't like any situation. Everybody get away from me. <laughs> so I from any given day i do not know what may or may not happen next so that being said here we are and i am excited about it today um i <coughs> we are getting ready um kent and i are going to do a day of just sightseeing today he has to go up to amarilla for some family um business and he leaves in the morning so we're going to spend and i don't have meetings until tomorrow so we're just gonna spend the day hanging out in San Antonio and I talked to um, a Instagram friend real life Instagram friend who um, lives here and she gave me some suggestions of some places to go today and some things to do that we have not done before we have been to San Antonio before but it's been a while and when we came last time we were not able to really spend any time we had like maybe a half a day so we walked around, you know, the actual river walk, but we didn't really do a lot or see a whole lot. It was also when the world was sideways. And so not a lot of things were back open yet at the time because it's been like three years or so. Um, so that being said, we um, are excited to explore today. She gave me some great suggestions of some places to eat for different cuisines and then as well as a couple of places to um things to do activities and then like a place a good place she said to go shopping so i think that's what we are going to do today okay i decided you know when i all right so let's backtrack for a second y'all remember i went great right <laughs> obviously but what i mean is during my transition time in 2021 that spring Actually, that's when I was here. That's when I was here. Okay, well, anyway, I'm rambling. When I was here in 2021, we were not still, things were not completely open, so we didn't do a whole lot. We only had a half a day. But now that things are back um, open and whatnot and all the activity, we're going to do that today. Now, that being said, when I was here before, I was in the process of growing out my hair from the colored dyed whatever it was to my natural silvers and now of course it's all grown out fast forward two years okay what i'm thinking is back then i had that demarcation line and i wore a hat a lot <laughs> like a lot and discovered i maybe i really was a hat person that i really did like it and that you know i enjoyed wearing a hat well um now i don't have a hat because i fully went silver i just ditched the hat because i was using it for that purpose but i kind of think i want a hat again so when we go shopping today i want to look for like a cute little like summer um i don't know if you call it a fedora i guess it's a fedora i don't really know a lot about hats okay i'm an idiot when it comes to that but i think i want like a cute little fedora kind of straw fedora with like a little you know small band i don't know anyway we'll see i think it'll be fun because i wore a lot of like like i'm doing now like a low pony and a hat that whole time and i did enjoy it and so i'm thinking thinking i want to do that again all right let me get on with this face 
Uh, I have been self tanning in prep for this trip. So I do have um, some uh, tanner on. All right, I am gonna use two colors today. One is uh, Madrid, which has been around for a little bit, but the other is our new color that just released in the shades of the season called Maui. And I am really loving this pretty peachy shade. It has a hint of pink to it, but I just think it is so pretty for springtime. And so, sorry if this is getting in your way, but I had to be able to see. Um, you know, I just wanna, isn't that pretty? Oh, I like it, okay. So, I'm gonna wear this on my cheeks today. I guess I blended out all my contour. It looks like I blended it away, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> A little bit more on one side. I have one side that I always, for some reason, get less on than the other. Can y'all do that? I don't know, it's probably just me. Okay. Let's do some eyebrows. I'm definitely gonna have my mirror for this, but. Okay, so, she suggested um, a couple of restaurants um, to visit, and like I said, this place to go shopping, and then, like, with lots of shops, you know, like a little walkable shop area, and then also to take a river taxi, which we, again, were not able to do last time because they were not running. And, you know, like I said, the world was sideways. So, I'm looking forward to doing that, too. That'll be super fun this time to get out and do that. So, I'm also going to show y'all my outfit of the day. Y'all were, if you saw my stories two days ago, on Monday, you know I was packing and getting ready and I had a thousand things I was trying to pack so and already one of them has not worked and this is why I told y'all because I had the luxury of driving here this time and not, I wasn't like flying or anything that I was gonna take advantage of that and bring more clothes than I needed only because again all vulnerableness, vulnerability, can't say that word. I'm just putting it out there. I'm full on menopause and I just sometimes have the worst attitude about how I look, okay? So, and I'm not a person that dresses for somebody else. I will say that. I don't dress for, you know, I don't dress for other people, meaning I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm not trying to, you know, let somebody else say, oh, I love that, or you look great. I dress for myself, but in saying that, if I don't feel good about myself, then I don't like the way I'm dressed. Does that make sense? So, that being said, I um, brought several things that I've already tried. One thing on this morning, didn't like the way it looked, so that came right on off, and I put on this, and so I'm anxious to show you this. I am... Semi-happy with it. <laughs> Semi-happy with it. It's still, I'm just saying, it's not everything I wanted it to be, but it's going to work, and I'm going to wear it. So, there we go. All right, I am going to put some, like, illuminator right there. Just a little bit. Oh, gosh, I didn't mean to bump that. Get rid of that. See, I miss, I think I just blended away all my contour today. I'm not really sure what I did. Oh, well, it'd be okay. It'd be all right. Just a day of sightseeing. And, okay, eyeshadow. I am going to go in and do like one of my kind of everyday just looks that I love because. I want, I do want to feel confident when I step out of this hotel room. Now, I'm not staying in the same hotel where all the meetings are. I am like down the street a little bit, but, um, which is fine. We stayed where, I mean, 
and all transparency. We stayed where we had like points and loyalty, whatever, you know, because this time the conference, when I went to San Diego two years ago, all of the meetings were at the same hotel space. Well, this time they're split up. Now it's still the same, uh, like parent company properties or whatever, but they're not all in literally one little space. So I was like, well, I'm going to be within walking distance anyway, so I might as well just stay where we already have, you know, points and whatnot. So that's what I decided to do this time. I'm on the struggle bus with seeing this. I just want y'all to know. Because the light is so bright in, coming in this window. So I'm having to like put it on and then look at myself in the mirror. But I'm going to tout one of the things I love about this makeup is that guess what? I can do it and it'll still look good. Even if I don't have a, you know, 10 foot tall makeup mirror and all that kind of stuff. It's still going to literally look beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Um, you know, it is weird to feel like I was excited at first to get here back when I bought my conference ticket. Then I wasn't excited. Then I got excited again. Then I wasn't excited. Like, that's so strange to me at this stage of my life to be going through that whole thing, you know? It's almost like I'm, it's almost like I'm younger again, you know, where I have this insecurity about everything, you know? What will I do when I get there? What if I don't see the people I know right off hand or, I don't know. And. I mean, I'm 51 years old, and I have gone plenty of places by myself, been to plenty of conferences and meetings where I didn't know a single soul. I just walked up in there like, guess what? Y'all gonna all meet me today. But for some reason, in this stage of life where I am, that just does not, it's just not happening, <laughs> you know? And it's so strange to me because I'm not used to feeling like that. You know? Okay, here's a little quick tip. If you ever feel like you got too much makeup or something's not sitting right, it's not as smooth as you want, grab your beauty blender, beauty sponge. This is the one we sell called the Perfector. But grab you one and just press. Just press like this. That's all you gotta do to those little areas and it will just help like if there's any excess it's going to pick it up and it's going to just let stuff lay a little bit better so there you go a little tip for the day all right let's see if i can do this without blinding myself or getting it everywhere we know that's a struggle to begin with so i will say the weather is beautiful here there's so much sunshine, that's what I'm saying, like it's coming straight in this window and it's almost blinding. I feel like I need to stand back across the room where I can see myself, <laughs> but. I did buy a couple of new things. Y'all saw in my like packing stories that for this trip, but a lot of stuff was stuff I already had that maybe I either hadn't worn yet or whatever, but I did not spend that much money buying things for this trip only because I am in such a weird place right now, you know, body image wise, mentally, self-confidence, whatever, that I didn't want to spend a lot of money and then turn around and not like something or regret buying it, you know? That's ridiculous. First world problems, right? Okay. All right, well, I did get some on my face because I couldn't see what I was doing, but for the most part, I did okay. All right, I'm gonna try this pretty bright orange lip today. And then I'm gonna use some of our Maui on it also. So what I'm gonna do is, this is a Super Stay by Maybelline Ink Crayon. And this color is called, hold up, hold up. 
Oh, maybe it's on the top. Oh, it is. Laugh louder. You know what? That's some good advice today. All right. I lined my lips with that contour color and understand that lining your lips with whatever color is up to you. Some people prefer a color that's totally like blends into their natural lip. Some prefer just like a plain nude. I go a little bit dark. I use my contour color, which is already darker anyway. It's basically the color of my eyebrows. And then some people prefer to match it to whatever lip color they're wearing. It's totally up to you. But you do need lip liner with mature skin. And I say that because we have all these little fine lines and wrinkles, okay? It just happens. And your lipstick tends to bleed into that, especially like in the summer months, right? But if you eat, you drink, you're talking, you're whatever, your lipstick could fade into those little lines and you really don't want that. You don't want that. So if you'll put something, put a lip liner on whatever one you love, okay? then it's gonna help hold that in place and keep it from fading out. Plus, you can kind of fake a little fuller lip. All right, so here's the Maui. This is it right here. This is it right here. So I'm gonna put it like right in the center. Give myself a little fuller lip action. Hmm, kinda like that. Okay, all right, and I did screw up with my mascara so now that it's dry i'm gonna show you don't rub that in take you a spoolie or a q-tip and just flake it off like that because that way it won't mess up your whole face you don't smear it anywhere but let it dry our our instinct is to like rub it like ah, i messed up and to go ahead and rub it but don't do that all right, so that's it. That's the look for today. And I am gonna do a trial, or I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day here in just a little bit. So look for that in real format. And I will see y'all later. I'm gonna try to take you along as I look around and hang out in San Antonio today.